That's so we can edit it. That's 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 for editing, editing purposes only, so we can connect the audio up to the video. Mm-hmm. All right. So um, what we what do, what do we want to cover today, ladies? Food. Mm. Yeah. Food. <laughs> <laughs> and the sorry restaurants we have in PG County. How about that? Oh, commercial restaurants. But commercial restaurants. Well, I saw um, uh, milk and honey is opening the up. One. Yeah, the new one in Clinton. So they're gonna have an, another oh, milk yeah, and honey over there by where the old Toys R. But Toys R Us, yeah, Toys R Us. What is it gonna be a super super milk and honey? It might be a one where you can sit down. Space didn't look like it was small. I don't think. Uh, I'm gonna move that just well, they the one over there think. off of off the road. You can sit there, but it's tiny. It's like a matchbox. Uh-huh. I looked it up online, and and as far as the locations, and I did not see the one off off road. I saw Clinton, Bowie. Um, I haven't seen the one off off road yet either. Where is it at? By the metro station behind it. The metro station. If you, you know where you went to the stop, stop yeah. it or whatever it is. The, What's that? the spot. The spot. It's right next door to the subway, and you don't even know it's there. They have no sign up. It's just on the door. Okay. Yeah, I think you have to go up some steps or something, and they're up on the top. Hmm. Um, because I've been looking for it for about two months. Yeah, but I, I went to too. Subway, and I went to that um, burger joint. Mm-hmm. How'd you like the burger uh, joint? Apollo Burger. It was good. I had a, a vegan burger from there. I was trying to be good. Um, <laughs> and so I had a, a vegan bur- burger with everything on it. And um, and I went to the subway to get my mother a salad. This is when you were you left me and went to Georgia without me. Oh. <laughs> and took my son away. <laughs> okay. you know, I feel some type of way. But no, anyway. Uh, and I asked them. I'm like, what's upstairs? Why are people... And he said, oh, milk and honey. I said, well, that's where it is. Oh, okay, okay. And I said, well, they don't even have any signage or anything. He says, yeah, they should, but really they don't need it. Sometimes they have two and three hour waits. I'm like, what? That's well, cause mm-hmm. It's so small. They do know where it is, too. Yeah, wow, right. two and three hour. So how many people that's does it hold? That's how it used to be at the other ones, I, I think. Well, not, I never had small. to wait two or three hours, but I was just like that cafe. What is it? Kitchen Cray. Kitchen Cray Cafe. Yeah, it's tiny little spots. But I understand. I understand that. Mm-hmm. You know, you only can serve so many people. You only have so much staff. Mm-hmm. Um, Were they serving 10 people? It was about 20. <laughs> I would say 20 to 25 or 30 okay. people at a time. So, I mean, you need to at least have some t- some type of atmosphere. But, you yeah. know, well, you well, want to yeah. keep your overhead no, so you right. can make a profit until you get there, and there, and now they're advancing into other areas. Okay. Yeah, um, I think they're in Virginia too, aren't they? I who feel, Kitchen Milka, Cray? One of them. It might Milka be Milk and Honey. One of them. I have I no know, idea, but I think one of them are in Virginia. Oh, okay. I don't know. It might be Kitchen Cray. Oh. oh. Well, if you know if Kitchen Cray is in Virginia, let us know. <laughs> um, when is the Milk and Honey opening up in Clinton? Is it open? I don't. I'm not sure. I just saw the sign, and I'm. Not, I, w- I wasn't sure if it says coming soon or if it said now open. I just saw. Milk if you honey. know if milk and honey is open, yeah, let, me <laughs> <know. Clinton laughs> let me know. I haven't been in like a couple of years. Um, Was it since the last time honey? we took Rico and Wisdom? Probably. Probably. That's the last time I went. Oh, and I, I apologize, everyone. <laughs> Welcome. To another edition of the BS of Entrepreneurship podcast. My apologies to you. My apologies. <laughs> That's <laughs> well, what happens when you're hungry. Whether you're a small business owner, you're a nine to five worker trying to have your side gig, or if you're trying to get off of it, this is where you come in. We're going to just talk about some of the mindsets that you're going to have that you need to have. Um, and we're also going to have some fun. So uh, let's jump into it. If um, Stay tuned. Is the camera so, on? To right here? Yeah. Yes, now it goes, yeah. It goes from red to black? That that means it's live. Oh, well, it wasn't a few minutes ago. That's because that camera was live. Oh, okay. See, I'm learning, too, how this works, you guys. So <laughs> don't mind me. Um, 
Uh, okay, so so we were going to um, jump into. So well, first of all, we didn't we didn't even talk about. We talked about milk and honey. Um, tell me how your how your week went. Let's let's start there. It was a week. It was a week. Yeah, I didn't, nothing yeah. exciting happened. Something. I went to see Kevin Hart last week. Oh, there you yeah, go. See, there you go. Oh my God, there you he go. Was hilarious, you know. I, you know, somebody. I tell him about to. the tell him about the lady behind us. Oh no. Uh, somebody said that Kevin Hart was kind of played out, like, like yeah, they were like whoever it was. I can't remember who I was talking to, but they they didn't feel that his show they they felt his shows were repetitive. Um, I guess they seen him a couple times, Uh-oh. but. I well, only seen Kevin on television. <laughs> I don't know how they <laughs> because you couldn't record it. They 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 look. They took your phone, put your phone on lockdown. Yeah, mm-hmm. yeah. Phones on lockdown. They so, did. Mm-hmm. And if they, they say, "Don't try to bite it." If you try to bite, if they see it light, any type of light, trust and believe, you are out of there. Yep. <laughs> but it was enjoyable. I enjoyed all the comedians mm-hmm. on the circuit. That's good. Yeah, all, all, yeah, they had for for uh, three three warm ups, and all of them were pretty funny. <laughs> the thing that I I really liked about um, Kevin Hart and what to me what made him uh, what makes him uh, an extremely great comedian is he's a phenomenal story t- storyteller. Oh yeah, yeah, he is, and he's able to start here and then take you along. So wherever he starts his story. When he ends his story, it loops all the way around mm-hmm. back, and, mm-hmm. and it's not like so he's telling started. jokes, right? It's not like he's telling <laughs> jokes. He's just telling. It's, it's like we're sitting here right now, just having a conversation, and that's mm-hmm. that, that's he just makes you feel that you're sitting down and you're having a conversation with him, like kind of one on one with another twenty thousand. It's because he's so silly. <laughs> he can do that. <laughs> he is. He was very enjoyable. I like that. Uh, not the. Third comedian, the second one they had on All Black. I don't know what these, you know what, I didn't catch anybody's name because, okay. again, I had a few. But anyway. <laughs> what, what jokes were he telling? One, the he first the first about, guy was talking about P. Like, no, uh, no, 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 no. No, not him. Uh, he was talking about uh, his kid saying that he would leave the kid. Um, I can't remember everything he said. Something about leaving the child or if the with the gorilla. Remember, he was talking about the gorilla. He said, if the kid fell into the... Would he leave his, would he leave his daughter, if his daughter fell in a cage <laughs> with the gorilla, would he jump in there and get it? So he said, you're getting divorced over a hypothetical. That's what he said. He, he talked yeah, about... Yeah, he's him and his wife. Yeah, they, 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 <laughs> she, she wanted to divorce him over a hypothetical. Situation. <laughs> and so she gave him a hypothetical. If we were at the zoo and our daughter fell in the cage... <laughs> would you jump in and would you get it? <laughs> he's what like, did he say? He, he said, said, hell no. Hell no. <laughs> he said, I don't really know her. Yeah, he said, he said, she, he said she only two years old. I, don't, I ain't known her that long. <laughs> Dang. It was funny. That was funny. You <laughs> sure did. Because you, you know, you can imagine this. You can. That's you why. Know, he's like me and a silverback. No. He, said, he said, that's not happening. <laughs> Said that's not happening. The little girl, poor little baby. But you know that's not true. He's gonna go in there and get his daughter. Oh, he he might think about it. Yeah, he, he, he not even gonna think about it. He's just gonna jump. His reaction, he gonna he take just, his, his reaction is in. just gonna jump. Yeah. Yeah. We had a pool party. Yeah, we did. You How know? was it? It was a lot I of fun. I didn't make it. it. It's okay. We having another one. Oh, I don't yeah. know. You're gonna be seeing your son play at Delaware State. On the third. Oh yeah. Oh y'all having it on the third. We having a phone having party. A foam glow. Oh. What time does it start? I don't know. I think it's. It's just starts. Uh, yeah. <laughs> I think it's. I think it's five. <laughs> three. Three to nine. Three to nine. It's three to nine. Mm-hmm. I might can catch some of it depending on what time the game starts. Yeah, okay. you we'll, catch the we'll best be part. See. You catch the best part. <laughs> we'll be there. <laughs> don't and don't let them blow their whistle. <laughs> so you guys are having it or someone is. Well, we had we're having it. Um, With someone. Goon Bay, yeah, remember Goon Bay who came? Yeah. Yeah, you need to come on over there. That should have been on Sunday. That's Gabby's. Uh, yeah, we Gabby's oh, turning right. sixteen. You guys, yeah. my baby is growing up. Oh yeah. Oh my that's goodness. That's my baby. Do you know who I am? I'm Maria. That's Frank. <laughs> it's Tracy. Tracy. Uh-huh. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. We didn't even go through all of we're that. We're the BS of entrepreneurship. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> 
<laughs> Anybody know what that mean? If you know what that mean, call in. Yeah. You might get a prize. <laughs> so I'm going to tell you guys, we're going to go through this. And, and, if you, and if you like what you hear, please um, like it, comment, subscribe. And go ahead and, and share and share it. So, um, you know, we're 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 growing we're growing quite quite quick quite quite fast. Oh, so, really? I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty. Oh, excited good, we good. Can. We didn't. Man, let me tell you what right. Frank did to me. Speaking of what happened during the week, I'm standing on a street, minding my business, waiting on the Uber. Just minding my business. Yeah, and he starts, Superwoman. Just minding my business. I Wonder saw Woman. It. I mean, it's Wonder like, Woman. Yeah, I call you Superwoman. That's why I said Superwoman. <laughs> I probably but yeah, he did, did say it. He, I mean, I he didn't know did what the hell he was Wonder talking Woman. about. But if you think about it, that has never, I have never seen you and Wonder Woman in the same room at the same time. Okay. You I have mean, the he glasses, was telling the truth. You have the glasses, the hair, the hair, the, hair, the glasses, yes. Wonder Woman. The, and then she wear the little thing that you oh, have right is that there. What, look at that. I still didn't. Still didn't get it until. Yeah, I name. got it. I understood why he said it. Well, I had a few. <laughs> I said he called yeah, me out, and then he was like, loud what, about uh-huh, it. What? Uh-huh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he was loud about it, and I was like, "These people are going to be, you know, get paranoid when you have a few." Okay. I'm like, he needs to, he needs to be a little bit more quiet with this. What's he talking no, about? I, I knew exactly what he was talking See? about. I'm Thank glad you you, da- you didn't have a few. Thank you. I, I, she had a few I mean, when she saw the video. I, I mean, <laughs> yeah, I might have when I saw it. <laughs> Oh, my goodness. And then at the end, I just couldn't help myself. I had to laugh at myself because I'm like, huh, Mer- Mayweather is fighting. Yeah, you like, said he's fighting? When? Oh, like, I'm I, ready. And she sure did say that. So, so you, you still don't understand that, that, that what I, I was I saying? I do now. I said I do it now. Had to be, you know, it had to be five days later. The, the you had to Hill break game. it down. No. You didn't get about? the Sugar Hill game part? No. What did you say? Hold on. I didn't even hear that. Wait a minute. It says, um, uh, and that this and that and on the original it says, um, uh, I don't even I'm a, I'm a Mr. Game in the Sugar Ray fight or something like that. You said that. I said you'll make me miss the game. Oh, it's the way the he said it. Fight. Right, exactly. Oh, like I'm really it. supposed to know what that is. It was a Sugar Hill Gang reference. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Go watch the video, guys. You'll get it. You'll get it. <laughs> <laughs> Anyway, anyway, all right. Well, well, let, let's 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 jump in. Let's jump into this. Oh, our light went off, but it's okay. Is oh, it too high or something? Maybe that's. Well, we're gonna we're gonna have to fix that. We're gonna have to fix it. Well, let's 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 jump in. Let's jump into this. Um, as we were talking about restaurants, mm-hmm. one of the topics I wanted to discuss is the how do you know if you're getting and if you're and if anyone's running a business. Tell me about the restaurant that you've been to that you have gotten the best service from and what made that them think what made you think that hey this was this was great good service that I was getting. You know what, Captain Charles, that oh, was my goodness. the service was Oh yes, and young amazing. people and they I, were young. I, very I was young. Very pleasantly surprised. The young people were doing their thing down yes, there. They were. Management must be really good at that spot. Captain Charles. Kudos to you again, Judy. We talked about you last week. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you need to invite us down there. <laughs> and we talking about her again this week. So the Captain, service was oh. So Captain so okay, the service. What, what made what made the service what made the service uh in your opinion, what made the service good? First of all, I like the fact that um, it was a young person, okay. a young black gentleman. Um, he was articulate. He understood what we wanted. We told him, you know, he he um, he hooked us up a little bit, you know. When we didn't like something, he took it and brought it back. It was no, you know, ah, okay. that type of thing. Yeah. So there was no attitude. Everything was on. It was just, he was just on point. Checked on us. Right. Even the bartender came out. Um, Maria's right. drink was a little too sweet, and she came out. She kind of explained why it was sweet, and it did have a lot of sweet stuff in it, but it was just too sweet. So she fixed her another one, um, and then my drink, it was really good. She fixed it exactly the way I wanted it. Mm. And everything, they were just very attentive to us and everything. I like, think they, you know, their listening skills were on point. That, that's, yep. that's, that's what I'm picking you up. You know, because 
we're telling them what we don't like, what we do like, mm-hmm. and they're listening and they're bringing us back, you know, the the correct item. They took away the bad one and brought back the new, the good one. Mm-hmm. We we um actually got crabs, all you can eat. Mm. He so, was on point. We told him what, how we wanted it. He brought them. He kept bringing them. So so <laughs> ba- bottom line, just listen to your customer. Right, right. And listen they'll, to your they'll, they'll tell you exactly yeah. what they want, how they want it, and and how you can. But here, here's what here's what I also, also what I took from that is that even though they didn't get it right on the first time, they corrected it. Absolutely, they did, and it didn't no take issues. them that long right. to do it either. And they, um, the young man, when we were getting ready to ask him for condiments and stuff, before we could do is do that, he was like, "Do you guys need this that?" Right. And Maria was, it was like, you're reading like, our minds. Yeah, that's what I was getting ready to say. It's almost like he was reading our minds. We had to make our sauce. You know, you all out there, you know about the crab sauce? Yeah. When my recipe, he let me know. <laughs> but <laughs> he brought everything that we needed. The vinegar, the ketchup, the mustard, the mayo. Oh, so he already knew what you needed mm-hmm. in order to make your sauce. Yeah, so I guess he had been, you know, schooled before. And uh, because I know Tracy, she likes the what the mustard and the mayo, Mm -hmm. but I do the ketchup, the vinegar, Mm. I do everything. I put some uh, um, the seasoning in it and some lemon juice. Mm. Um, I know a couple people that only like the mustard mayo, Mm -hmm. but so but but then what's the what's the what's the mustard mayo? So that's that's it's just a sauce for your crab to dip your crab meat in once you get it out the shell. And you can't eat too much sauce because if you eat a lot of sauce with your crabs. You're gonna get full fast. That's me. What? I just get dip. Full? Yeah. yeah. So if I, I take just the crab, dip a little bit too. If I take the crab, I, I I probably dip too much sauce. Dip it in the sauce, and the sauce ends up on my fingers. Oh yeah. See, I thought you was gonna say you just dip a little bit. No, no. I'm too. I'm I'm, I'm the too much sauce. But guy. a lot of people I, are like never it's, too much sauce for that's me. That's what I was about to say. A lot of people are like. I want the sauce with my crabs. <laughs> it just makes I it taste want so less. much better. Yeah. It's like the crab meat, to me, it's much sweeter. It enhances the flavor of the crab meat. Mm-hmm. But the restaurant itself is on the water. Where's that? La Plata, right? No, that yeah, is in, um, is it Newburgh? Oh, well, uh, yeah, we were down there. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of far. Oh. It was. It's it was, kind of, but it's like it's the a same. Nice ride. Yeah, same distance to Annapolis, where Mike's yeah. is, or maybe... Like from my house, right. probably. Right, from where we live. So about yeah. 35, 40 minutes. Mm-mm, no, it's like almost an hour. Oh, an hour? From my house, yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, okay, that's that's a good little... That's a yeah, because from, um, from Wardorf, that's where I came to pick you guys That was up. about 20 or it 30 took, minutes. Took about 35 okay, minutes. Okay. So we were way down on the water. It was a really nice little spot. Um, we, I know we're going to go again. Okay. We got birthday coming up. Maybe I'll take you down there hey. because I did bring you home that salad, that seafood salad. Remember that? Oh, oh that was good. God. That was delicious. That looked yeah. amazing. That was delicious. The food was great. I mean, you know, okay. we give a kudos to Captain who? Charles. Captain hey, Charles. Captain Charles. <laughs> um, yeah. Let, 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 me, let me ask you this. I was actually, um, listening to, um, to, to a speaker. His name is Myron Golden. And and he spoke about in in business. He talked about um, some of the principles, and I, I can't and I and I know I'm butchering it. So please forgive me. I know I'm butchering it, but he basically he talked about if principles. I think it was physics. He he sat next to a guy, and he was he was a um, is it physiology? I don't know what they call. What you talking? But about? he's he he's a he's a phys- physics. He does physics, and. The theory on physics is if you take anything from one realm, in order for it to be true, it has to be true if you insert it into another realm. Mm -hmm. So regardless of what you do, it's going to be true. Um, One of of the examples. (laughs) Lost me. I know. But one of the examples that he, he, one of the examples that that he used, he talked about, um, he talked about energy. Meaning energy is neither good or bad, and not, and not, and not, it just energy it just is. So his analogy was uh, he talked about a piece of wood. Mm-hmm. You have a piece of wood, you can chop it down. Now when you chop it down, uh, instead of it being a tree, now it may become a log or a piece of wood, mm-hmm. and then you can put it in a fire. Mm-hmm. You put it in a fire. Now it, it becomes ash, mm-hmm. and then you can take the ash and you can spread it on the ground. Then it becomes fertilizer. 
So the the tree itself, it is it is not neither good or bad. It just is. It's just energy. It just transforms. Energy just goes from place to place to place. So whether um, he and he, the comparison that he made was, and if you want to have basically high income, you get high high energy. Mm-hmm. The energy you give is the energy that comes back. So it's never nothing is good or is nothing good about. And I know I know I'm messing it up, but it's okay it's because I understand what you're saying. You do, yeah. When oh, you wow. say you give good energy, <laughs> but but he said it's neither good or bad. It just With is. Less, it, it, just it just is. It just is. The energy, but, energy yeah, just in is. the beginning. That's but what I he disagree. Said. He said because you have good and bad energy, but it it's you don't on, think it's, so. It's 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 what you focus on. What you so, give. The another analogy he used is if there was a coin or a piece of paper, he says there's always two sides to each and everything in our realm. There's always one side and there's another side. And what happens in our life, the energy that we bring to us is what we end up focusing on. Um, and I like one of the things he said, and this, this resonated with me. He says, as far as being grateful, he says, well, because – you have eyes, but you see because of the gift that you're giving. You, you have ears, but you hear because of the gift that you're giving. It's nothing that we do to make ourselves see. It's nothing that we can do to make ourselves hear. Things just are. But if I close my eyes, I can't see. No, nah, I'm just kidding. <laughs> <laughs> so I got to open them in order oh, to see. Oh, yeah. There, there you <laughs> <But> go. <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to wrap my head around that. And then he also talked about inertia, meaning that um, in your life, or whether whether it's a, a relationship, whether it's a business that you're having. Um, well, the second thing he talked about was I can't remember the word, but basically, if you have um, anything that's not tended to, it will turn to it, it will be overtaken. So if you have a garden and you don't tend to the garden, the weeds will overtake it. So you have to kind of like in our mind. If we leave our minds to the vices, the negative vices or the weeds will still come up into our vices and, and, and take over. So how do you uh, stop that? You, you, keep you, you, keep, you keep yourself on, uh, you keep the energy focused on and pushing towards positive and, and things that but then now you're taking me back to positive and negative and he's saying that that neither one of those exists it's it, just it, is. it just is so what depending on how you utilize it that's the energy that you will you that you I have. disagree okay and only no, because no, 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 no. and so so what did you what is what is your um viewpoint of it somebody comes in your office okay or your space mm-hmm. and their energy they they're negative mm-hmm Okay, that's a negative energy. You're saying that it's not negative. Could you give them a positive energy? Could I give them one if they'll accept it? Yes, because they give enough negative energy. That don't mean you. That you have to you give have, it back. I think so, that's kind of. And, and I, oh, go ahead, Maria. I'm just saying, there's positive and negative energy, just like in a battery. You got there positive and negative, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. So how can he say that it doesn't exist? No, there are two sides. There is a uh-huh. positive and there, there is a positive and a negative. Mm-hmm. What you get in your realm is what you focus on. Okay. So Okay. I mean, and I understand that. If somebody comes in here with an, with negative energy back in the day, I may have gone there with them, okay? <laughs> but now it's like I just look at them and and uh one of my friends said <laughs> That I give this look, like I kind of shake my head and I look at him, cause I will, I will give you the look, like, oh, not today. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeding into that. Mm-hmm. Okay, mm-hmm. so I'll let them continue and act act a certain way, but I'm learning. I'm not gonna say every time, but I'm learning to just stay in a certain place, a, a realm, as you say. Mm-hmm. I'm learning to stay in a certain realm. Um, hmm. So I don't collect that that yes. negative energy or right. that negative yes. vibe. Right, you're, you're right. You don't you don't have just because they're throwing it at you. You don't have to absorb it and take it. Right. I mean, Tracy's good at flipping that negative energy. 
She mm-hmm. can flip them. The, the, and your uh, girl almost went back. Speaking of flipping, your girl almost went back to the negative side today. She sent me this message talking about horrible. Oh, I know <laughs> who you're talking about. I know. The one that <laughs> followed us around her house. <laughs> who? Is that who you're talking no, about? No, no, oh, no. Okay, well. Horrible. <laughs> well, one, one, of, one of the guys that, that, that actually uh, came into, <clears throat> and he was... Um, he came to me and, and you know everything was good, good, good. Oh yeah, hey, hey, Frank, how you doing? I'm, I'm, I'm okay. Um, but I had already heard an instant that that's why I wanted to talk to him. Had had heard of an instance that was <coughs> happening with him. So I said, let me just talk to you in private, man to man. So as I'm talking to him, I, he he just said something that I believe was totally untrue. It just didn't seem right. Mm-hmm. So as he's going along, as he's going along, he says, oh, well, I was just standing right here. I said, so you mean to tell me you were in an unauthorized area that you were, that you, no, no, I was just standing. I said, okay. So I said, so, so explain to me, how did you go from this unauthorized area to another unauthorized area? Just, just walk me through it. So then he says something, oh, well, yeah, he just came to the back and he put his hands on me. So I said, so you mean to tell me you did, you were just standing here. And he just came and he grabbed you and and he just called you an N word and yeah, I said you know let let let, let me just say this directly to you man to man directly to your face, I don't believe you. Mm-hmm. The F you too. <laughs> now I mean in less than half a second he said F you too. <laughs> so you know he lying. You old Uncle Tom. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah, they give him the business on his job. I mean, I mean, you think we get the business? Quickly, huh? we don't get quickly. the business. I was like my brother. I was like, well, come on. I said, but well, I, I can be all of that. Come on, you know, just thinking about taking that deep breath. Mm-hmm. Come on, come on, brother. Come on, brother. You know, let let me just let me just walk you on outside, and I can be all of those things. Just allow me to be all those things while you're outside. <laughs> while, while you're outside, I can be all those things. <laughs> so, nah, he wasn't like that a couple of weeks ago <laughs> with uh, the Hispanic guy that said, don't touch me. You remember him? With, uh, he comes home with these stories, y'all. I have stories, so yeah, almost every the guy, guy came in there and... Uh, I think he was what transgender or something. Oh, he was dressed like a. I mean, he's a he's a he's a girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. He's well, a, she then. She's a girl, and she was stealing. And she just <laughs> had a big old bag, and I was like, "No, nah, you gotta give me the bag. You gotta." So, because you are a man, but you're dressed like a woman, you're still a man. Absolutely. And I'm not going to treat you with kid gloves like you're a woman. And be on World Star. <laughs> That's not about to happen. So <laughs> I'm gonna treat you like you're a man because that's what you are. And so um, he's telling me what he's going to do, what he's not going to do, and that's fine. Mm-hmm. I'm just gonna just let's go ahead and call MPD, let them handle you, and you know let them let them go ahead and talk to you. Um, just go ahead and call. Okay, and then that's exactly. So I. I Shoot, dude. Non-emergency. I wasn't calling that one. Just, I'm just mm-hmm. calling 2 As soon as I hit 2 hit my hand, almost knocked my phone out of my hand. Now, now I got an attitude. Now I got an attitude. Now you got to go. Because he's like, don't, don't you put your hands on me. I was like, I'm not going to put my hands on you. We're not even going there. We're not even going there. But Get out. Yeah. He's going to touch you and tell you not to put your hands on, yeah, on, so. on them or she. <laughs> and, or and, and better be thinking it's lucky stars, the he, she, whatever. Yeah. That, um... That it, it was but you I'm, because right. somebody but, and, and else could have knocked this block off. I've truly learned how to, um, like, it's just like you have the, had the customer service at Charlie's, mm-hmm. Captain Crab Captain Charlie's. Captain Charles. Captain Charles. Captain Charles, Captain Charles. I understand that that particular person is one in three, four, five hundred people. And so then I just put on my hat and I say, okay. You know what? I'm probably going to have I'm have to deal with it. You know, I can even meet it with negative energy if I want to, or um, I, I'm gonna just try to have to deal with this probably for the next minute. Yep. I'll be all of these whatever you know, and and I and I'm pretty sure if you if you if you're in business and you have clients or customers, you probably had the same thing somewhere along the line. One of your customers or one of your clients have not been happy with you, 
And um, and I'm 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 kind of curious. How do you handle it? Put I I would you know, I would encourage you put it into the comments think, and let's. And, yeah, and, 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 I don't think I've had anybody to curse me out. Oh, I have. You have. I oh, haven't. Yeah. I haven't. I haven't had Call that. Me now. every name in the book. They we have gone back and forth. They'll dish it, but they don't want to receive it. And as soon as you give it back to them, and I do it in a way where it's professional. Mm-hmm. Oh, you're unprofessional. Oh. You, you know, you don't talk to me that way. Oh, you just disrespected me in five different ways. But when I come back at you, then you, I'm unprofessional. So I'm just supposed to take the disrespect. So, so, so let, well, let, let me, let me ask you this. If someone right now <clears throat> is um, starting a business and they have a customer or client, just, just like, what, what would you, what would, how would you tell them to handle the situation? me that tell them i i I would i would just you first you just gotta listen you gotta hear them out yeah you do you You just gotta hear them out and let them vent let them okay let them vent and say what they need to say i mean because most times that's all they want anyway they They, just want somebody to him so they could feel you know special and like they are a priority which of course they are, mm-hmm. but it's still a level of respect. But you gotta let them hear them out. Okay, just and then out. most of the times after you do that, and then you they let you speak. Cause some of them still won't let you talk. Mm-hmm. If they let you speak after that, by the time you get finished, mo- normally they're apologizing <laughs> for That's how ignorant they act. That's with Tracy. <laughs> I just kind of shut down. Um, and what I normally do if a person is getting, if they're going on off the off the deep end, I kind of cut the conversation and take it to text message or email. And then that way, because I know I'm a very emotional type of a person, and when once you start going there, I have to, you know, I have to be like, okay, I got to get off this phone mm-hmm. because I'm, I'm going to go there. Mm. Um, so mm-hmm. yeah, I, 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 I will. And I'm learning as I'm getting older, how to just be like, whatever, but I take it to the email and I okay. break everything down in detail. Mm-hmm. So and then the okay. they get that when they don't have anything else to say or come back, then they get mad. Yes, <laughs> they do. <laughs> then they get mad and they want to tell you you're unprofessional and you're this and you're that. Okay. And, I, and so I keep it strictly on a professional level go to the last name miss so-and-so or mr so-and-so okay. break it down thank you blah 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 so it gives them nothing else to say so so and so, dates and times right dates time <laughs> all like that. that so 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 would, so would you say if someone is struggling in that area in their business now mm-hmm. one of the best things to do is to probably Take a deep breath and then start typing it out. Ty- ty- yeah. Typing out what, yeah. what it is. Say and, get off. Get and, off of the phone. Yeah. And 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 how you can get off of the phone mm. is let them know we can't go anywhere. We're not going to re- be able to resolve this if you're yelling and you're not trying to hear me out. To, you know to address the right. problem that mm-hmm. is. But it, you just got to end the call. You got. You, you have, have to. to. So, there's been times where I actually had to hang up. And then I'll send a text and say, "I'm sorry, my phone, um, I, I, my, I, my phone <laughs> One of those cut sh- off or something." Sh- hello, I, hello, hello. I wouldn't say okay, that. Okay. I have done that many a times. Okay, no, that makes yeah, sense. Yeah, and then they they're like, "Oh, I thought you hung up on me." Okay, Miss Tracy, no problem. And then we just text them because I mean, they're, they're, because there there are a lot of companies in in business and small business owners who struggle who struggle with that, and they want to know how you know how should I or am I handling it correctly. Rather than trying to go get go, off the phone, get yeah. off the phone, get off. You could go back and phone. forth. Back you and will forth. go back and forth. Yeah, and it's you know, people perfect. like to be antagonistic. They like to. They want to take you there so that they can say you're unprofessional or whatever. And then the next thing you know, they're online with a review, giving you an, uh, uh, how how unprofessional this person is and blah blah blah. So get off the phone with them. And tell them we can pick this back up online. Let me let me break down a few things to you, or let me put it in writing to you what what is necessary, what is needed, um, and then they can you all correspond in email. You have a paper trail of what you said, what they said. Mm-hmm. Um, it's no misconstruing the information, or you said this, but you 
No, no, I didn't. I went and go back to your email mm -hmm. or whatever your text messages um, because they will. They people out here want to sue. <laughs> people want to take you to court. People want to badmouth you. So if you got it on paper, okay, and mm -hmm. and when you're on paper, you can always review what you're saying to the person. So if it comes, if you can read it and say, oh, this came off a little bit too stern or strong or mm, whatever. Mm, okay. You can fix that, okay? Because the goal is always to make that person feel like they're important. Absolutely. Okay? And um, that you care about them, okay? And that you're not trying to get over on them or whatever their grievance is with you. So if you can articulate that on paper, then you, you, you're going to be good. So get your writing skills up because a lot of people, they don't, you know, they're not teaching us in this country to, to write and they're surely not encouraging you to read. So, so, so get so your how, writing what, skills what, what up. Is, what, is your, what is your best suggestion, Tracy? Exactly what she said. Okay. Exactly what she said. And then... A lot of people in, in business, too, they need to take classes. They need to take, um, I would say, fair housing classes mm -hmm. okay. because they need to understand this that they need estate? to. This is for anything in actuality because okay. you need to treat pretty much everybody the same okay. when you're in any kind of business. You know, you shouldn't be like, uh, like, for instance, you would be upset if a waiter come over to they see you sitting down first. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And then they see somebody else sitting down, okay. right? You're just waiting. But they never come over to you, but then they going over to someone else. They they need to know how to, you know, go to the person that was there first. Okay. You don't, and, and you, you want to basically treat everybody the same. Mm -hmm. I know sometimes you can't always do that depending on the situation. Okay. But for the most part, you want to make sure everybody's being treated the same. And that they feel that they feel that they and that's how most people are is me as the customer. I want to feel that you acknowledge me that you Absolutely. see me. Okay. Yeah. And that makes sense. Yeah. And if they're going to use yes ma'am, yes sir with one, they should use it with the others. Got it. Unless you got a group that's Saying, hey, you ain't got to do all that with me. You can talk trash, da 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 da, da. <laughs> Then that's when you know that you might can flip your script a little bit. But you want to know how to, you got to treat people the same. And, and a lot of people don't take, uh, that's in business, they don't understand a lot of that stuff. And they don't get the classes that they need to get because they are out here. They Customer need to train service their employees too. And yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I went to that. my favorite cake um, spot where I go pick order cakes mm -hmm. and they had this woman back there first they had a young guy come out and he and i said hey i want to order a cake he says okay and he says i'll be right back so he goes in the back and he brings out this older woman she comes out and she's like can i help you i said uh yeah i want to order a cake well, what kind of cake do you want okay right there she threw me off because <laughs> i'm like i'm not used to this when i come here what kind of cake do you want? I said, um, well, we're not really sure. Well, you got to be sure when you come here, you you um, need to bring a picture or whatever. Well, let me ask you this: How, what should, and based on your opinion, what should she, what should she have done when she when she came out? Good, good, good evening. How may I help yeah, you? She should. Okay. Hi, I'm, I want. Um, I would like to get a cake. Mm -hmm. Oh. Because let me tell you where it ended up. It ended mm -hmm. up with, well, you need to call so-and-so tomorrow mm -hmm. if you want to order a cake. So she should have said that in the first place where our oh. cake ordering person or whatever you call them okay. is not here this evening. It's best that you call or I can take your name and number and make sure that she gets it and she calls you back. Uh, if you can't help me, don't ask me a whole bunch of questions. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then tell me that I got to call somebody tomorrow. Guess what? You just lost my business. I went somewhere else. And I probably, I'm I'm, I'm old, getting old. Uh, one strike. I don't even give you three anymore. Yeah, <laughs> you give me so, either. You give so, one so, strike. So, guys, just just make sure that <laughs> you, you you talk to them nicely. Don't come up with a with an attitude. That's, that's, that's what I'm hearing. And most times, a lot of people don't know when they greet you, they're supposed to say, I can help you. 
How can I help you? No, I can help you. Okay. Yeah. You're supposed to say, I can help you. I mean, how are you going to have somebody, a person can come to request something at any time. Mm -hmm. So if someone calls, and that's how we work it out, if if I'm not here and Tracy, Tracy's always going to say, can I help you? Um, you know, and if she can't, she'll let them know I can't help you, but I'll find out or I'll get in touch with her that or whatever sense. the case that makes sense. may that be. Makes a lot of sense. Don't have me come to your counter and you tell me that <laughs> you ask me all of these questions and then tell me where well, you got to call so and so tomorrow. Right. What? Right. That sound like she don't so. even know any better. Poor thing, she shouldn't be. On yeah, yeah so, she shouldn't I mean, have been out there. Don't shouldn't be on the front line. So, so if you if you're the owner of that restaurant or that that cake, it's place, a bakery. The owner of the bakery. How could you help them out to to keep to keep you as a client? We need to email them and let them know, which I haven't done yet, but I will because I bought plenty. Yes. Right, but how could how could how could how could, how could that that owner is a is a business owner? What, what's the next? She step? needs to train them. What's, okay, so so how could what would what would you tell that particular owner, that owner of the bakery? What should they? How could they help their employee? What would you tell them? You need to train your employee on how to cause you uh, hold on to your business because you just lost some tonight. Okay. Okay. Hold. You, you want specific details? Yeah. What? What? what, the, if what the, because One. right now somebody's struggling in their business mm-hmm. okay. and they want to know what mm-hmm. to do. Okay. With your employee, if you have an employee that and you're not there because that's the whole point, you should be able to take off a day or do something else. You shouldn't have to be there all the time. You instruct that employer on how, how, well, you, first of all, have a manual. Okay. I have, what, yep. what is it called? Uh, operating. Uh, SOP, standard yeah. operating procedures. You have that. Mm-hmm. You make that person read that, uh, that SOP. Mm-hmm. Okay. So that they understand how your business operates. Then you actually train them. You walk with them. They, you, you greet a customer with them and you tell, and you show them how you want, this customer to be treated. Mm. Okay. You, you don't just what? leave them to their that own goes demise. Right back just, to what I said. They need to go through a customer service training. I just thought and of I something. I can promise you they're not doing that at these little no, side not. bar places. When, they're when not you, doing when that. you were just saying that, I was just thinking about that what they probably should do is do a, a, a role play and have that particular um that particular employee become a customer and treat them badly. And to see, you know, how what, what exactly what they would what they would want to happen. It's funny you say that because even when I used to go on an interview, mm-hmm. before I would go, I would interview them. I would call and ask questions like I'm somebody else, okay? Because that's ev- that's going to let me know if I even want to work there. So, what, what type okay. of questions would you ask? I would ask all kinds of questions about the property. Mm. And if they can't tell me about the property, that's just letting me know I'm getting ready to walk in and be ambushed. Mm-hmm. They getting ready to put everything on me. And then I would I would ask them all kinds of stuff, like how many um, apartments are there, or, or whether it's apartments or condos. I would ask um, their, uh, uh, you know, how much they are. Um, and you'd be surprised. Some, some of they really didn't know. But this was a long time ago. But, um, and then I went one time, Frank, I went and, um, I wanted to look at the property. They just gave me the keys and told me to go look at it. Go on in there. I never took them back. (laughs) I never never took them back. back. I never never, took them back. You didn't give the people the keys back. On purpose. (laughs) That was to teach them that you should never just give a person your keys. And they didn't even take my ID because if you're going to yes. do that, you should keep the ID. But you yes. still shouldn't do that Yeah. because you want to interact with the people. You want to let them lazy. know that you're happy that they're coming in there. Mm-hmm. So I would interview them first. And when you said they should, like, do a role play, mm-hmm. when I before I would um, hire someone, I would do a role play. I would take them and I would ask them to show me how they would sell this apartment. Mm-hmm. That make, yeah. I used to do that before I would hire someone all the time. You, you put them in a, in a, in a, in a, in a situation. And t- I would and have me. them to show me the apartment, how they would show Oh, it. they would literally walk you around the apartment. I would have them, I would let them go in there and Just see like it first. Customer. And then I would 
I would come in and I like they're selling it to me. Wow. And that way I can see how they, you know, how they do with it. And there are some things that I would be like, oh, yeah, yeah, you know. And then, for instance, you should never leave the door closed. Always turn the lock, the bolt lock on in case you have to run out of there. And you oh, want so, so, so to let them lead, the door. whoever okay. you're selling it to, let them lead the way. So there were different things. And, and that's why, like, the owner of the bakery, should do a role play mm-hmm. and show them. But, and you know what? They may have, but they might be paying the girl a little bit of money and she could be young and she don't care. This but was an old get you, woman. They do it too. That's so sad mm-hmm. and unfortunate. It is. They, sh- they should actually they, have her go up to the counter so to, to see how she interacts with the people. I mean, yeah. she acts like I annoyed her. Mm-hmm. It or maybe they like can you video- were a problem. Yeah, and like you're I helping to pay her salary. Right. Yeah, maybe they can videotape. Maybe they can videotape the, the the transaction and and let her see. Hey, this is this is how you were you know were, were handling that that particular customer. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and a lot of people could, just don't have to do go through the customer service. I mean, when I first started training Sine, mm-hmm. I would make her come with me on all my presentations, even though she was doing leasing. Okay, she wasn't she wasn't doing management. But I wanted to make sure that she knew what we were about Mm -hmm. and how I operate and what the level of expectation is for the client so that on the other side, when I went to the other side, she knew she already knows what the owner is looking for, Mm -hmm. what is important, like the qualifications, the income, all of those things are important Mm -hmm. and why we have these guidelines set up. Because here you sat with the owner, mm-hmm. and the owner is worried about, am I going to get my rent? Or, I, you know, I don't want these people to tear my house up. Mm-hmm. You already know what those concerns are. So when you this person comes to you and says, hey, I want to rent this place. When a tenant comes and wants mm-hmm. to, okay, right. you already know you the know, you, the you know to ask certain questions mm. and just, just to see where that this person sense. is coming from. Okay, yes, yes. So it, it, all, it goes full circle. Yep. It goes full circle. So you start here, and then you take them through a whole process. Now, Sine, I don't need to mm-hmm. bother with her anymore. She, she knows she exactly what she's doing. So she doing. can do, does, but she mainly does the tennis. Yeah, she does the leasing side. Okay. But like I told her, you got to get to know both sides of this coin in order to get the perfect fit for it. Okay? And... For the mo- in the beginning, we had a little some issues with some of the people, mm. of course. But yeah, now she knows, always. and um, when she comes and tells me about a a, a, a prospect, I'll tell her, "No, oh, that's not going to work." And she'll say, "Well, how do you know?" And I'm like, "You just said this, 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 and this. That is not going to work for this particular client. That no." And they don't have this, and they don't, you know, whatever the situation is. I'll tell her that's just not going to work and I'm going to tell you right now they're not going to have the right credit score okay. <laughs> you know so well, me, me, the, the tenant the tenant that she's looking at to put into right. this owner's home is not going to work out no it's not okay. and nine times out of ten okay. that happened just today with me almost <laughs> when about the cat oh yeah I had yeah. to let the person know mm-hmm. you, I don't know if you'll be able to get a cat but we're going to try <laughs> Normally and, I could say my client yes surprised no. me because he was like, "Oh yeah, get her a cat." What? Oh, you he, must allowed be, her, he allowed her to have a cat. He's he the grumpiest, grouchiest client. He does. Yeah. He doesn't even. I don't even think he knows that he's a grouch. Okay, yeah, he, doesn't. He, he doesn't know. He doesn't. But he is a somebody's grumpy. a video table. <laughs> he was so nice today. And he was very nice today. Uh, I, I think him a good you day. know what? It we've had him for about three. Three years, four years, oh, cool. and this is his third tenant. And um, the second one, all of them paid the rent, but, you know, they had different personalities, and his neighbors um, kind of told him what was going on mm-hmm. over there. And so he was feeling a little apprehensive about who we were putting in his home. Right. Although they paid the rent and they kept the place decent, some of them were sitting out on the porch, so-and-so called the police, uh, you know, different little things that, happen okay okay but he couldn't he he wasn't having it so this tenant she's been there over a year now she's been quiet as a mouse mind her business all of that so his perspective as you say is changing 
Mm. Okay. So today he was like, oh, no, give her a cat. She want a cat? I don't blame her. Oh, so she's already been there. She's been there for about a year. And and she just wanted to act. And so then then you guys had to go and ask the owner, would it be okay? Yeah, we have to ask him everything. Okay. Yeah, and I told her, I said, "Um, I don't. I normally could say yay or nay <laughs> with with certain owners, but this one I have to I have to find. Okay. Got right. It, got I have it, to find got out. It, got it. So Let's he, see. you know, she's having an issue with some mice. You know, when you live in a town home, anybody living in a town home, if you have mice, your neighbor does too. Okay. You need y'all everybody needs to get together and hire an exterminator. Or you can use baking soda and cornbread that you get a little oh yeah, corn corn muffin mix. See? Get a little little um container, put a little hole in it for the mice, put it in the area where you see the droppings, you guys, and though they will disappear. Mice cannot burp or fart, I understand. <laughs> she I found told out me to too. tell someone that so I, 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 didn't I, I know was that. I was thinking I, and I don't know if it's true or not, because we, we had we had a raccoon issue and I and I was thinking put uh one of those biscuits, just just go get one of those Pillbury raw biscuits. And just cut it open and put some baking soda in the middle of it, and just put it out there and let them eat it. And they say antifreeze. Sorry, oh, <laughs> they say oh, yeah, antifreeze for the raccoons. We, we we don't we don't really do this. We just heard about. Yeah, it. we're not talking we're about raccoons. You. you can't do yeah. that to the raccoons. Yeah, you're but not the supposed mice to and rats, do that at you all. Can. Right, you but can't you can't harm. Uh, fox no, or no. any of those type of animals. animals. You gotta just right. catch them and let them right be picked yeah. up. That's what you gotta we, do. We got, I don't know how we got rid of ours. He he just said doesn't come around anymore. We got a lot of deer. We have a lot of deer. Tons of deers. But I anyway, for anybody who did not hear that recipe, <laughs> it's Go ahead, baking yeah, soda yeah. and cornbread, baking Mid, soda, corn muffin jiffy. So so Jiffy cornbread, put some water in it to so No, no water. No water. No, it's just all a, dry. It's just, it's just a, you, so it's, it's just to make dry. them blow yeah. up in the inside. Yeah. Okay, so it's just the dry cornbread and what else? It's the Jiffy corn muffin mix and baking soda. And Same baking parts. Soda. Four, if you do four tablespoons of baking soda, one, it's four one. tablespoons of the mix. You stir it together, you put it in a plastic container, poke, cut a hole so the mouse or the rat or whatever it is get, can get in there and eat it. It's only for mice and rats. But oh, you don't okay. mix the mix up. You're mixing the mix, the dry mix with the baking soda. Right. You mix yeah. you mix those two together yeah. and they eat it. When they go back to the nest, their stomachs, because they have acid, every, we all but have they, acid. But they, but they don't share it with the other mice. No, they oh, okay. do, it kills it's them. Just, but, them. I mean, I'm sure they'll tell the other mice where they got oh, it from. No, nah, no, nah, Joe, man, don't go over there. Don't go. No. <laughs> no, nah, man, because it takes a while. Trying when you change, digest man. your food, doesn't it take a minute? <laughs> mm-hmm. So, anyway, they, they're going to tell their other friends. What you they, eat? Man, I went to this restaurant. <laughs> <laughs> and now I'm dead. Yeah. But uh, that's how you can, if you don't, can't afford an exterminator, that's what you can use. Okay. But anyway, uh, yeah, she had, she's Maria. having a mice issue. And okay. I, and, uh, the neighbor, he called his neighbor after I called, talked to him. And she, he said, oh, she, she flighty. Is and, she in the uh, middle or she don't want to end? My resident <laughs> is in the middle. Oh, yeah. No, oh. I'm just kidding. Well, no, no but, if that's the case, know, then, then the neighbors are going to have They need oh, to. Yeah. Everybody needs and to sometimes exterminate. they go yeah. from, like, if your basement isn't uh, sealed off and closed in entirely, okay. they can go through the basements and all of that. Oh, wow. And then if you have one that had pets, you know, mm-hmm. all of that. They, oh, what well, the they, neighbor told him, oh, she knows they're in the wall. But they only come out in the wintertime. I'm like, this woman, she don't Guys, see any mice. real quick. If you like the conversation you're hearing, please like this, comment, <gasps> share okay, this, talking subscribe. about rodents, y'all. <laughs> we're talking about we went, rodents. I know. We even though from, we're talking, even though we're talking about the mice, we subscribe. Mr. We're just showing and showing with y'all how to get rid of them. <laughs> yeah, uh-huh. but yeah, our landlord surprised us today yeah. and said, "Yes, by all means, allow her to have. I like her. I want her to. I was like, oh, you like somebody." Um, he wants her to stay and he does not want her to be bothered with any mice. So he said, get her a cat. That's what she wants. Let her have it. No, no, no rent increase, no security deposit. Give her a cat. I said, okay. Yeah. Cause you have to do the the policy is that, but if I want to say no, we Mm -hmm. we can be no. Well, one of these weeks and you guys let, let us know if that's something that you, that you would like to hear more about as far as how 
if you are a, a landlord and you want to know some of the some of the ins and outs, um, because not everyone is go, going to um, to do property management. But if but if you are going to do a property management and you don't want to manage it yourself, make sure you please please make sure you reach out because not everyone is built to um, yeah be a. <laughs> <laughs> to be a, be a landlord, landlord. Yeah. and yeah. let and these let, people will cry your, on your shoulder and then you suck it in and yeah, then that's you paying, you know you're not you're paying any rent money. for a year yeah because you're uh you're you're you a newer landlord and you're yeah you don't have <laughs> thick skin and you have soft <laughs> mm-hmm. skin and your tenant is please i'm just getting ready to get my check on the 15th Mm-mm, how do i it. know and then when you take them to court <laughs> and you don't have the right credentials for your property so guys they know this yes yes Yes, I, I I believe my what my my first um, experience. I think just believe she was a professional tenant. So um, I didn't know, and I'm encouraging you um, because uh, a, a lot of investors do watch our show. So if you are an investor, get yourself a property. One, then get two, then get three. But what I would encourage you to do right. is after you get that first one, get a property manager, take that property, then go to your next one, and that's how you're going to continue to build your wealth. So the prop, the, your your initial property is making money for you while you're going out to seek the other one, and you're not getting a phone call in the middle of the night trying to take care of that first property. Let that first property pay for itself. Get your second property, and then next thing you know, in five or six years, you may have three, four, five different properties, and allow that property to take care of itself, um, and and put the you know put put that into your overhead. That that's what it's gonna um, that's what it's gonna take to call you. But it's not even but the, a lot of money. You know not, but the the that the stress that is gonna take off off your mind and allow you to go out and find another property is is really right. um, the convenience of it is which is, is what you're gonna really investing for. It's really not even about going out and buying another property. These people will drive you crazy if you're not a professional. Okay, and and a lot of people come to me after their. <laughs> <laughs> the tenant has driven them <laughs> off the edge. <laughs> yes, won't pay the rent, telling them what they are and are not going to do, and all these different things. And these landlords are just tired, especially after COVID. Yeah. And they and you, you, they thought that they didn't have to pay rent and all of this and that. Oh, I was just going to say, and then because they're so used to taking advantage of the owners, then when we come in oh. and we're managing the property, they don't want to deal with us. They keep calling the owners. However, then you just got to let the owner know, just refer back to us okay. and don't answer the phone anymore. And then they get used to it because it, mm-hmm. it, it, initially they think that we're being mean, mm-hmm. but that's because they never were abiding by their lease agreement. Right, right. You know, and okay. then when they realize they have to. Hey. Oh yeah, we've had some doozies around here too. Well, guys, <laughs> well we we appreciate you stopping by, spending some time with us. We truly appreciate you. Um, if there is, is a topic that you would like us to cover, that you would like us to go over, please feel free to reach out to us. Leave it in the comments columns, or um, just 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 send us an email. Uh, the email is americasdreams at gmail.com. So just send us an email. Let us know what type of topic that you would like us to, um, like us to discuss, and we can cover it for you. So this is for Maria, Frank, Tracy. It's the BS of Entrepreneurship Podcast. And remember, you change your perspective, you change your life. You change your perspective, you change your life. You change your perspective. Ladies, what are you going to say? Change your life. I need to do that myself. Peace. <laughs> mm-hmm. Holla, holla, holla. Did I finish my drink? You ain't even, yes, you did. That drink was good, too. I needed that after today. Mm. Mm. Okay, I'm gone. Thank you.